In this lesson, you'll learn how to get the necessary Joomla files, extract them on your computer, and upload them to your hosting account. To start using Joomla, you need to copy all the Joomla files onto your hosting account. In this lesson, I'll explain this process, which involves downloading a compressed Joomla file, expanding this file on your local computer, and uploading all of the Joomla files to your hosting account. Before we begin, you might like to start a document containing all the passwords you'll be using throughout this process. The first information you should note is the upload instructions from your web host. Hosts usually provide this information in some sort of a welcome email. The details you need are the FTP server name where you upload your files, your FTP username, your FTP password, and the location to store your files. You might like to keep a record of these details in one spot so you can easily access them later. The FTP server name is often ftp.yourdomainname.com, but check with your host. You will also have an FTP username and FTP password. The last one isn't so obvious. Your host's welcome email might include a location on your hosting account where you store your web files. For example, I use a control panel called cPanel and the files are stored in a folder called public underscore HTML. Plesk, another popular control panel, stores files inside HTTP docs. So, if your host has told you to upload your files to a particular location, make a note of that too. All the Joomla files you need are available in a single compressed file. Get this by opening your browser and going to www.joomla.org. Look for the button that directs you to the latest download. This series of tutorials demonstrates how to use Joomla version 1.6. By the time you watch this, a later version might have been released. Now, usually with software, it makes sense to use the latest version, but that isn't always the case with Joomla. In a later lesson, you'll learn about extensions or third-party add-ons that are available for Joomla. As extensions are built by third-party developers, there is no guarantee that those developers will keep their extensions compatible with the latest version of Joomla. So, if you're considering adding some sort of functionality to your site, such as an e-commerce store, a membership system or a photo gallery, it is wise to investigate if such a solution is available for the version of Joomla you intend to install. If in doubt, or if you're still at the stage where you're evaluating Joomla, get the latest version. In most cases, you'll save the zip version here. But if you need a different version, such as tar format, then you'll find this here. Note that Joomla is being updated all the time, and the version number, in this case 1.6.3, is likely to have changed. That's okay, newer versions are unlikely to affect this training. Now download this file in the same way as you would any other file. In this case, right-click and choose the Save option. Then select a folder on your computer to save the file. You might like to create a dedicated folder for all your Joomla activities. Now wait for the download to complete, which could take a while as it is a large file. That's the first step done. Next, we have to extract the files. If you have a ZIP program already installed, as I explained in the previous lesson, all you need to do is select the file you just downloaded. I'm using Windows, so I open the folder where I save the download, and double-click the file name. This opens a new window, with the option to Extract All Files. If you installed WinZip, you'll see that program interface instead, and you'll see an equivalent option somewhere to extract the files. Click the button to extract the files and choose a location where the files should go. In my case, I'll choose the default location it has provided. 
click Extract and wait for this process to complete, which will take a while. I'll pause the video at this point until my computer has finished. Go to the folder where the files have been extracted and have a look at the result. There are several folders and files that have been extracted, but don't go looking for something to run. All you're doing is preparing the files to be uploaded to your hosting account. You are not trying to get Joomla running on your local computer. Now we have to transfer all your Joomla files to your website hosting account. You need to make a decision where these files should live. If you have a brand new hosting account, then you'll place the files in your main hosting directory. If, however, you already have files on your hosting account, you probably don't want to disturb them just yet, so it makes sense to create a new folder and upload the files there. You can then build your site and move it to the main folder later. Once you know where to put your files, it's time to upload them using your FTP program. I'll show you how to do this using FileZilla that was set up in the previous lesson, but the process is similar for all FTP software. Run your FTP software and have a look at the interface. The files on your local computer are listed on the left. The files at your web host will be listed on the right once a connection is established. So, in the left column, navigate to the folder where you previously extracted the Joomla files. In my case, that was drive C, Joomla. You can see the files in this window. Now, let's connect to your web hosting account. You need to enter the connection details provided by your web host. So, I'll enter the host name here, which in my case is ftp.joomlavideodemo.com. Then your FTP username. Mine is Joomla VI. And your FTP password. Unless your host has told you otherwise, you can leave the port one empty. Then click the connect button, and you'll see your website files listed at the right. And this is where you need to know where to store your hosting files. In my case, the files need to be stored in the public underscore HTML folder. So I will double click on public underscore HTML to move to that folder. As I explained earlier, your web host might provide a different folder name such as HTTP Docs, or perhaps the first folder you see is the one you use. Once again, if you're not sure, check with your host. Now, as this is a new site, I'm just going to upload everything to this location. However, if I wanted to create my Joomla site somewhere else, I could create a new folder here, right click, choose Create Directory, give it a name like Joomla, and click OK. Then you would double click on this new folder, so it was ready to accept the Joomla files. Now we're ready to transfer. We want to copy all of your local Joomla files to your website. Simply select everything here in the left, and then right click and choose Upload. This will upload all the files to the folder you selected at the right. This will take a while as there are many files to be uploaded, so I'll pause the video. All the required files are now on your website, and this completes the first part of the installation. The second step is to create a database on your hosting account, which I'll show you in the next video. Hey, you're getting there and your site will soon be up and running. This course covers all the theory behind the workings of Joomla and teaches you everything you need to know to build your first Joomla website. In our first advanced course called Beyond the Basics, we put this theory into practice by demonstrating how to build a Joomla site from scratch. There's nothing like watching a real site come alive, so to find out more about this course and the other topics that are covered, head through to our site using the link on this page. Yeah. <sighs>